Hello everyone, and okay, welcome to Network Pips. So in our previous class, we discussed about version control and how version control works, you know, how uh, it, it comes into play into software development and they you know, uh, helps to keep track of changes in files and they also the project as well. So in this class, we are going to look how we can set up a, a repository in one of the most popular remote repository version control system that we have out there. We have GitHub, uh, we have GitLab, we also have um, Bitbucket as well, and as well as AWS Code Commit. So for organizations, most likely Bitbucket and also uh, AWS Code Commit is going to be the best option they are going to go with. For organizations that will want to you know uh, have their repositories privately to them, then also um, uh, for pers for this for our personal use. For storing our codes, GitLab and GitHub is going to be the option we are going to go for. So, uh, if you want to join along with this course, yeah, you can simply open your browser and go to uh, GitHub.com. You can as well use code um, uh, Git GitLab or any of these other ones to follow along. So, for this class, I'm going to use GitHub. If you have an account, you can click on sign in, or if you don't have, you can click on sign up to create a new account for your GitHub. So it's going to show you welcome to GitHub and you're going to type in your email. I already have an account, so it's going to show me this account already exists. So for you, you're going to click continue and follow along with the uh, the setup wizard. Very, very easy to set up. It's going to receive you're going to receive an email and you're going to click on that notification uh, token and that's all. So click on signing to sign in. I'm going to click on sign in to sign into my account. I'm going to type in my email address that I used to create the account. Going to type in my password and I will log into my account. So I'm here now. This is my GitHub dashboard. You can see on this top left corner, you're going to see all the repositories that I have. And they, if I click on this uh, top right corner here on this my GitHub uh, profile icon, I'm going to click on View Profile to view all my uh, repositories uh, in, a, in, a, in a more more of a preferred view. Then if I click on repository, you can see I have up to like 20 repositories. Now look here, you are seeing these ones are public. Here, this public means that this repository is going to be accessible by every other person, you know? So which means uh, it's going to be publicly viewed and anybody can clone this repository and work on it. And I can also give people access to update this repository. So these are the kind of, uh, uh, the can the, uh, maybe when you're having when you're working on a on a on a, pub, a open source project you would like to make a pub a an a public repository and give people access to make changes to that repositories those are the kind of way they do those kind of stuff then if i scroll down you're going to see some private repository like this one a cdk code sample and the and uh and uh Ansible and the rest of them jenkins share the right library you can see these are private repositories. These are my own personal project that I want. I don't want any other person to have access to. So you can see on this side, you're going to see the uh, the activity bar uh, signal of this repository. And the, yeah, to create a new repository, I'm going to click on this new here yeah, to create a new repository. And I'll give it a name. Let me say I give it demo uh, repo. No, it's going to verify if this name has been used before. Then uh, it have not been used before. It's a unique repository, so it's going to accept it. If you have more than one owner in this uh, repository. You can more than one profile. You can choose uh, choose the profile which you want to create this repository on. But I have only one, so that's why you're seeing this guy. Then here you can see uh, have option to make this repository public, or you can make it private. So remember what I told you uh, just quite not not quite long ago. Public is going to be publicly accessible by everyone, but private is going to be uh, uniquely accessible by only you. So you can choose to add a readme file in this uh, in this repository. Readme file is things that you need to let people know about this repository before they can use it or about this project before they can use it. So I'm I'm going to leave that out for this uh, for this demo. I'm going to click create a repository. So in no time, we have our repository up and running. So here is going to show you uh, the list of commands uh, which you can use to clone this repository on your on your local system. 
So you can choose to use the HTTPS command. You understand? If you click on the HSH command, you notice the command uh, set has changed as well. But for this course, I'm going to use the uh, HTTPS command. And the, I'm going to go ahead and copy this uh, repository and they go to my uh, uh, local machine. I've already SSH to my AWS instance I set up. So this AWS instance I set up is just like my uh, just like my, just like my local system. I don't want to use my normal Windows local system. My normal Windows local system for this for this demo. But you can use your normal local system. It is still the commands will still be the same. So for you to use uh, Git. For you to clone this repository, there are some things you have to have in place first. You have to have Git client on your installed on your system. So let me show you how you can get Git client. So um, if you click on um, if you click on Git on on if you go to Git client, if you type Git client uh, on Google, it's going to show you. You're going to bring you to this uh, to this download. To install git client maybe for windows for mac linux android os you can click on this download it's going to take you to which one do you want to download is it windows you can see when git client for windows we click here it will start downloading so you can use git client for this course uh windows git client for this course is going to serve you very well use your local system to to work to follow along as well but for this course i'm using one um instant i spin up on eight of years to do that so i'm just going to come here uh maybe i can download uh the one for linux but i always like uh, using the command line you know it's more faster if i come here and do sudo using the pre uh the sudo privilege i'm going to do sudo remember it's a it's a debian instance it's an ubuntu so app then install i'm going to specify the package i want to install which is name is git it's going to analyze and show me that I already had have Git installed on this machine. How did I? How am I going to find out? If I type the command Git, it's going to show me. Oh, this uh, the Git is Git is enabled, and the, this this is the list of command that I made with Git. Now notice this command, uh, clone. So you clone a repository into a new repository. So I'm going to use this command to clone that repository I copied earlier. I'm going to use git uh, clone. Then I'm going to paste that uh, repository that I just copied. Okay, think uh, copy this other one. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to copy that repository back. I'm going to come here and I'm going to paste it. Then I'll hit enter. So look at it's asking me for username, my GitHub username. I'm going to type check uh, maluj at g gmail gmail dot com. So asking me for password. So it's going. To, this password is not going to work. I just want to show you something that uh, uh, GitHub does not allow uh you using uh username and password anymore to uh, log into your github repository it's only support uh using uh, ssh uh key pairs so how am i going to do this to have access to this repository and clone it, clone it to my local system what i'm going to do i'm going to generate a key pair i'll have the private key stored on this system and i'm going to store the public key on the github repository side so what I'm going to do, how am I going to do that? I'm going to use SSH, then key, type two commands to see, the, okay, key gen. So it's going to generate a key pair for me. It's going to ask me this, the directory is going to store this key pair. So mark this directory. You can copy it, you know, if you want to. Then I'm going to say, yeah, I'm okay with this directory. It's going to ask me, did I want a passphrase to access this directory? I'm so no. To access this key i don't want any passphrase and i don't want any passphrase and it's going to generate my key it's already generated how am i going to view this key remember this directory that it was stored in i'm going to do cat i'm going to do home ubuntu dot ssh slash id no uh, okay let me use list 
to view what is on that directory. So, uh, let me, okay. So you can see what is on that SSH directory. I have, uh, I have my authorized keys. I have my ID underscore RSC. I have ID underscore RSC dot public key. So the one that doesn't have dot public dot pop is your private key. The one that is dot pop is when you're going to copy and store on the um, GitHub site. So I'm going to bring up this my previous command. I'm going to take my cons console back and they remove this cat. This this and replace it with cat. Then bring my console back and the I want to view the contents of this id dot uh, underscore rsa dot pop id dot underscore dot pop so i'm going to view it so this is what is there so i'm going to copy this whole stuff like this from here to here don't include any space like this make sure that you don't include any additional space i'm going to click copy then i'm going to head back to my github now i'm going to show you how you are, how you're going to store this key on aw and on uh github come here go to setting I'm going to open this on another tab no go to setting come here go to ssh and the gpg keys then you can see you can add new keys here new ssh keys so I'm going to click on new i'm going to give it a name demo demo key demo key pair then i'm going to come here and i'm going to paste uh this my rsa and i'm going to add my uh, my repository here then once i'm done adding it i can come here i copy this repository again go back to my go to go back to my terminal and they do git clone and they paste my stuff there after oh okay so it's still prompting me to log in so using this uh using this uh https let me try this using ssh for example i'm going to click on this ssh then copy then i'm going to come here Let's do that same thing again. Uh, git clone. I'm going to paste my SSH command here. And the, it's going to ask me save this fingerprint. I'm going to click yes. Um, added. So it appears that you, so it have already cloned this repository. So it appears that you have cloned an empty repository. How would I find out if I type list? I'm going to see this my demo repository that has been cloned. So let me change to that demo repository and they show you there is nothing there is empty. Apparently, the only thing that is on this repository is the information that that is that consigns this repository. You know, how 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 did I know about that? So if I do um uh, list dash a going to show me dot git this if i enter this dot git uh directory if i enter this dot git directory it's going to show me information about these branches configuration about this uh repository uh um, description about all the things that i've configured on this repository when i i was creating it on the on the hub side so that's what is just going to show me so with this we're going to come to the end of this class and in our next class i'm going to show you um uh, show you how you can create a, a local repository on your uh set up a local repository on your on your system and push to the remote repository and they you know um show you other uh, like the uh, the branch concepts and they also merge and merge conflict and the how we can resolve merge conflict so for that for uh, for this we are going to come to the end of this uh, uh class and the i would like you to, to like this video subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video thank you